we made a decision. We are evolving the channel. Academically rigorous, genuinely curious explorations of learning and education. Like lectures, just not as boring. Following questions I come across and misconceptions that I have. While discussing my findings. So like school, but without the exam at the end. You see, I enjoy learning far more online than I did inside of school, and education is now moving online. But school isn't going away anytime soon, and nor should it. So I can now follow my interests, go a little bit deeper. Asking the questions that are so meta I end up talking to myself about how I'm thinking about thinking. Each video will explore a concept or idea in educational science. But let me explain. I am a researcher and preparing my PhD in learning science. My BSc degree in sports coaching and MSc degree in strength and conditioning started in nagging me, trying to understand why some teachers are so... have room for improvement. And others not so much. When I read Derek Muller's thesis around the evolution of technology in education, from the printing press to lithography, motion picture, talking pictures, all the way to computers and how we can use video for education, it got me thinking. Can video and online learning replace school? Elements of it, but the paper was from 2008 and there are lectures going on right now that don't use the proven methods and strategies that were spoken about. And there is a lot more educational science that goes back further than 14 years that still isn't implemented in educational systems, curriculums and other ways that we're teaching people. So you want to change the educational system with a YouTube channel? Change the system? <laughs> no, but explore the science that teachers, coaches, educators, learners could use? Absolutely. Learning Stars has no convincing evidence that it's effective for learning, but it's still being taught to educators and learners. Rereading, highlighting, and note taking can be detrimental to some, but really helpful for others. So, when, why, who, how? There is often more than one way to teach a skill or one way to learn a skill, but traditional educational science suggests there is a best way. But you can't force people to change. No, but you can give them a choice. People love to stick with tradition and use what's worked in the past. We bias our previous experiences, previous memories, often how we were taught, but that doesn't make it effective. It makes an educator's and learner's job much easier if they can do the same thing over and over and over again for their entire career. But new ideas, concepts, frameworks, methodologies, philosophies, and technology come around all the time, even more so now. But keeping up with research, methods, philosophies, and technologies whilst teaching is extremely difficult. Agreed, especially as there is no right way to educate. But there might be a better way. Exactly. We are all different, so what works for some people won't work for other people. So in my mind, I want to help learners, myself included, and educators, again myself included, to be aware of the options and choices in science that is out there. There are old ideas and new ideas being shared over the internet all the time. Some backed by science and research, some not so much. Some effective for some people, and for some not so much. But as a person that likes evidence and nuance, if I hear evidence-based, I'm not looking for one or two references with a correlation. I'm looking for synthesis and critique and evidence base that's been used in various environments. And nuance? Oh, you know I'm going to have a look to see what context it works in and what context it might not work in. I know it's impossible to keep up with everything, so why fuss so much about the most recent approaches or theories? But I don't think it's about the cutting edge ideas. It's also evolving those in the past so we can all move forwards instead of isolating those that don't fit the old mold. Misconceptions and misinterpretations of ideas, concept, methodologies are shared all over the internet, and I do it too. But instead of watching a video, listening to a lecture, or reading a book and calling it there, I want to continue the conversation. With yourself and others, irrespective of their expertise in the topic, concept, or idea. Just because your favourite creator, scientist, educator, celebrity says something is true, doesn't mean it's true, there needs to be an element of critique. Followers don't equal expertise, and oftentimes the experts are actually talking in really long podcasts or academic articles that have a lot of jargon and that are quite hard to digest. 
there are things I don't know I don't know. Questions to answers of questions I haven't asked yet. Mistakes, misconceptions, and mindsets that I will look to challenge. When you become aware of them, yes, but not everyone can or wants to live in a world of uncertainty where they're trying to find answers to questions that they don't know they have yet. And that's exactly what I want to explore. Take an idea about education. Ask where it comes from. Learn how and when we could use it and then share my findings so I can continue the conversation. Sharing my confusion and process along the way, there might and probably won't be answers to all of the questions, but I want you to be part of the conversation, partly to help me, but also so we can go a little bit deeper. Ask questions, share thoughts, share opinions, share resources that support or go against what I found. Or you could just share your initial response to the information. I think I will sit back, watch your pain and take what I can from the videos. You could call it educational journalism or just sign communication, I, I don't really know. But the links to things are in the description and I'm already answering questions and have answered lots of questions so look out for the next video but until then, stay curious.